Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Today we're gonna print with nylon, e-sun nylon to be exact, and it's not as hard as I thought, so stay tuned. So today this is a little project of mine. Um, I designed a uh, cigarette pack. I roll my own cigarettes. And this is a cigarette pack that I designed in uh, Fusion 360. I printed it out in nylon and um, it came out really really well so this is what we're gonna print today okay so here's the, the cigarette pack in fusion 360 I didn't videotape the designing of this I just brought it up I just made a couple of modifications basically this little notch right here and there's another one on this side here when you print it out um, it doesn't quite latch into here probably because I'm printing with no support so what I did is I just made these holes a little bigger so that these detents catch in there and the, the pack clicks closed Nylon, printed on glass with Elmer's glue watered down. Look at that. No stringiness. This was printed at 255 degrees. No part cooling fan. The heat bed at 75 degrees with the brim, but I really don't even think I need this brim. If anybody's interested, I'll put a link in the description for the Thingiverse. I'm gonna put this up on Thingiverse. I designed this. This actually holds 32 cigarettes. Here's one I printed in, PL, in PLA. I think uh, I'm having a lot of fun with nylon because man, this stuff is super strong. And you can see it holds 32 cigarettes, 16 on this side and 16 on this side. I don't smoke that much in a day, but I kind of I kind of like these bigger packs. It's kind of modeled after a not exactly cuz I the hinges design is different and all that. Theirs was just a molded polyethylene kind of thing and the hinges bro would always break on them and you can't even buy them anymore. But I I I saved one and uh, I took measurements from it and I made this one a little bit larger so 16 cigarettes fit in there firm on each side so 32 cigarettes all together. That's the beauty of 3D printing. Now I don't know if you guys can see the way this hinge goes together. This goes right in there and I originally designed it to put a piece of filament through this hole. You know the holes never perfect because I print this without any supports. So what I'm going to do is I have a, I have some, a piece of uh, steel wire that's just about the same size as filament and I'm just going to heat it up and push it right in there and that seems to be the best. I got a little bit of trimming to do right here. I don't know if you can see that but this is uh, just like a little detent there. It's not quite catching like these here. Some Well I actually trim these detents on here. I guess when I uh, when I go back to Fusion 360, I'm gonna trim this a little bit in the, the actual drawing because it doesn't need much of a notch to, I made them the exact same size and they interfere a little bit. But I'll just trim it with a knife for now. So that's how you print with nylon. And I'm using eSun nylon, which is very inexpensive uh, compared to some of the other nylons out there. And it prints really, really well. The big challenge I had was getting it to stick. You know, I went online and did a little research and 
a 50-50 mix of uh, Elmer's glue, which is like PVA glue, with water. Just kind of paint it on, let it dry, and then clamp that piece of glass to the bed and off you go. I'm really liking printing with nylon. And, and here's the thing, uh, the, the main reason why I got a, a 3D printer so I could print functional things. Good, strong, functional things that, that I can use in my everyday life. I mean, this is just a cigarette pack, but it's a cigarette pack that you can't buy anymore. The other thing, printing with uh, eSun nylon. And I'm not sure, I don't think it comes in any other colors. It just comes in this raw, kind of translucent white color. I have an ANET A6 and I print it at 255 degrees. I'm printing it at 60 millimeters a second. No supports. It doesn't string. I actually prefer printing with this than, uh, than PETG. PETG is not very strong in my opinion. This stuff is flexible, it's strong, great layer adhesion. So I'm printing this at 255 degrees at the nozzle, 75 degrees um, on the heat bed, no part cooling fan, 60 millimeters per second. The other thing with nylon is you gotta make sure you keep it dry. I have it in a box. Let me show you that box. I have it in a box with silica gel in it. And I haven't had any problems with it uh, hissing and popping from moisture. And what this is, is uh, it's, it's an old file box uh, for hanging file folders. And you can see the silica gel in there. Actually, I'm gonna to need to reactivate it. It's turning purple to get the moisture uh, out of it. And what you do is you just put it in the oven, I think at like 200 degrees. Probably when I dry out the silica gel, I'm also gonna uh, dry, put the filament in the oven too to get it all dried out. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Check out my other playlists. Give me a thumbs up, and if you got any questions, ask them in the comments section. I'm always open to suggestions and questions. Thanks for watching.